Oh, this is oh, cool. Oh, here yeah, we are. okay, so we're back. Yeah. Okay, so this is like the quest hub for for the intro area at least. Beginners. And you have to mm -hmm. talk with this guy. Uh, so I'm Shit, just I'll admit that I'm just second thing. I don't know what it is. Clicking randomly through. Okay, I got a new enchantment and I got some new stuff. I'll just go and check out the enchantments again. So a lot of them is actually now out of uh, out of my level range, which sucks a bit. To focus your power on the damage of a power. Okay, cool. I'll just put in my lightning bolt that does the most damage. There we go. Um, yeah, should we go and uh, go on the ferry? Yeah. How does it enhance enchantment system come out? Oh, manage. The manage. You just press the manage button. It's it's not very intuitive, but I'll I I don't, I don't think that the menu system and the UI and all that in this game I don't really find it very intuitive at all. No. Uh, not not a huge. Let's fan just take of it. the ferry. Yeah. Can you? Uh, I can also have a look at it. Yeah, we're on the right track, more or less. I think I am. So again, this is the starting area for the villains at least, and it's just one huge city. And there's just... You'll notice here that there's a ton of NPCs running around or walking around, and some you can atta attack and some you can't. Uh, but there's a ton of people that you can attack in the street, and they can be like police officers or just bad guys and mutated guys and all this different kind of stuff. Uh, and it actually work, works out all right I'd say I mean you don't have to as far as I've been able to tell it's not like every every NPC here is involved in some kind of quest or mission or whatever they're just here to bring some life to the city and I think it works out all right and you'll like see police officers who are uh, searching people or arresting people or people fighting in the streets and all that yeah it's pretty active indeed are you coming to the ferry? Or, um, I hope so. What are you doing? You have to take you the elevator thingy. Yeah, but where was it again? Oh dear God! Where I'm, where I'm, where I'm right now. Where you are come right me, now? Sir. Yes, come to me. I am indeed trying. At the low? Oh, there. Yeah, around the corner there. Hello. Okay, I was trying to get down at some other place, but I couldn't enter that place, so... Okay, so here we go, the ferry. Um, so this starting area is just like one part of... Uh, it's just one island out of multiple islands. I can show a map of that. Go to Oak East. Was it uh, Port Oak East, you oh. said? Yeah, I went to East. Okay, I'm going there as well. Hmm... So I, I suppose it's it's the same world that's shared among heroes and villains, and there'll be some areas that, that both of them can enter, and some areas that only villains can enter and only heroes can enter and all that. But here you can like have a have a look at the entire city, if you will. That's just separated up multiple islands. And I'm right now at po Port Oaks East, and we came from Mercy Island, which was this island. And then we just have epic music on the background, man. Different islands. Actually, yeah. Not bad at all. Some, uh, yeah. Uh, where did you end up going? Some drum and bass or something. Uh, somewhere here, but I'm not sure where I'm going right now. Oh, you can swim in this game. That's good. Oh yeah, okay. Why are you? Why? Are you, why are you out in the water? We have like a quest up here. Oh. Oh. Huh? <laughs> I had to go. I just saw a quest and I went there. Okay, I'm just going to, have to complete this quest. As far as I remember, this quest is um, it's about finding a new trainer, a new class or evil villain trainer, or whatever. Uh, so the guy in the starting area refused to teach us anything anymore. Oh, he's down here. Mm -hmm. So, what uh, can one expect when he or she becomes high level and wants to do something like? This is uh, going to be PV or PVP. There are several things that you can do. Yes, there is. Well, for a starter, the game has both PV and PVP content, at least. And there's a ton of group content in the game as well. Mm-hmm. 
Um, so. Uh. Uh, yeah, you can oh just. Oh God. Well, what what's happening? No, I'm just trying to get you. Uh, but I, the, the most important thing is like these missions and stuff, and there are like. Uh, more exciting missions that you can do with a bigger group of people, and uh, there will there are bosses and stuff that you can kill. There are also raids, two raids I think in this game. Yes, there is, and there's apparently one where you are just going in there, just heroes, or just villains, and a raid where you have to work mm -hmm. together, both uh, yes heroes and villains, which seems pretty interesting actually. Um, oh, this is the arena. I think, right here. It certainly looks like an mm, arena. Interesting. It says on the map arena. So I wonder if that, there's a, there's also PvP. Then there's there are zones. Certain there are four zones in this game dedicated to PvP, and there is arena PvP, where you, I think, sign up and then do PvP with certain people. But I'm not quite sure how it works. But. Uh, no, but there's there's arenas and there's arenas for different number of people. Yeah, and they have battlegrounds as well, uh, where you are mm -hmm. like you can be fighting. You're of course fighting like heroes and villains, but there's battlegrounds where you're just fighting heroes and villains, and there's battlegrounds where you're fighting uh, together or against some NPCs as well. Uh, and. Yeah. Okay, OZ, where are we going and what are we doing? I received some kind of quest from a dude. But I actually don't know where I to... Didn't get, I didn't get that. I didn't get that quest. There was a guy up here. That you could talk to. Yeah, oh, you have that as well. I saw the crop cops in... Oh, that's in Mercy Island still. It's not here. Oh, why did it say for you level seven and me level six? I have no no idea. Okay, so this guy's good. Finally, finally, this guy's can actually teach me how to get to a new level of power. So I'll just ask him train to a new level of power. And mm, could he just actually do that for me? Okay, so here you'll gain two new enchant in uh, enhancement slots f for your powers. Room for one more item in your auction inventory. So those like stuff you unlock. You'll also have well, there's a crafting system I'll get back to in a minute, but you'll also unlock more slots than that. Train up to next level. Okay. So here I can add an enhancement slot to some stuff, and I'll just add it to my ball of lightning. And I have one more slot available. My fire shield, so OC can... So I can get a better fire shield for OC. And I can choose a new power. Let's see what I got. Aim. Greatly increase your chance to hit with attacks for a few seconds. Slightly increases damage, and that has a long recharge. Short circuit. Release a burst of electrical energy around you, shocking all nearby foes. This highly accurate discharge deal moderate damage over time, drains a lot of endurance from the target, and render them unable to recover endurance for quite a while. Additionally, short circuit deals extra damage to most robots and mechanical foes. Short circuit is very effective when used with your other endurance drain powers. Okay, so that's like more or less a utility thing. And then I got this heal single target LA by cause rising the wounds. Okay. Uh, OC, we haven't had a problem with healing yet, have we? No. No, no, no. Not at all. Okay. I think I'll take the aim then. That seems to be like, be like a damage cooldown. That would be, be neat. Mm -hmm. um, so this guy is also like work as a, as a guy that can just tell me where to go and, and get things done and all that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let's uh, move on with the endgame thing. So apart from the PvP there is, and the raids of course, there is these things called story arcs. And I mean, this this game is very much built like it was uh, a cartoon, a uh, superhero cartoon. And that means that firstly, all the major patches is called issues, like it's, well, a new issue of a magazine. Um, hmm. And they, they brought some new stuff, of course, and, and one of the things they're bringing is new story arcs from time to time, which just seems to be like, uh, as, yeah, it's just like a, a mission change, which is telling you some kind of story and you want to follow it through from one end to the other. And you can, when you do this, you earn some kind of badge for doing it. But of course, the thing is that when you get higher level, you, you might miss out on some of the lower level story arcs. 
but they've in, uh, added some kind of flashback system, which is a time travel system that allows you to go back with a group. Oh my god, moving cars. Oh. Try and get hit by one, is it just for the fun of it? Really, it's just... <laughs> oh well. So you can like go back in time and... Oh, it says go back in time, but what you're doing is actually just going back and doing the story arcs and the content, your scale to the content or the content is scaled to you. Uh, so this is like a, a thing you can do that you can group up and go back and do these old uh, mission quest chains and, and earn batches by doing that. Uh, and there is of course also different kind of, of high level missions you can go do in instanced areas together with your friends. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, I just okay. completed that... Uh, I, auto I accidentally auto-completed that quest that we had. Okay, but that's fine. We just need to... Isn't there, like, any other quest in this area? Because I can't seem to find one. Or do we no, just have no. to go back to Mercy Island? That's I, kind wonder, of... I wonder if you can hop into this PvP area. Uh, it certainly doesn't uh, look like because it. Because this... It's an arena, it says, You can talk so with this. How do we... Oh, here. What? Open the door. We just go inside. Well, of course in just arena. open the door. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, could you just have a look around then. here real fast, Desi? See if there's anything interesting? Yeah. Okay, this is actually, this this annoys me. I'll just get this out of the way. Uh, Ooh. Hang on a second, Desi, I'll just... So, when I hold my, my cursor over the store, it's just regular cursor. But when I get close enough to interact with it, it will turn into a hand. But that means that I have no way of seeing if I can interact with something until I'm literally hugging it. Oh, God. Okay, oh, so you go. So this dude says there's three different things. A duel is a one-on-one -on -one fight to the finish. A team duel, which is two, team, two teams to versus each other in a battle royale. This is a basic free-for-all matchup. So, hmm. And then there is um, team battle royale, which is with teams. Pantat, the pinnacle of team-based competition. It's a two-team five-on-five matchup that requires each team to consist consist of one player from each of the five core archetypes. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Huh. So there, are, uh, I'm not going to go through all these, but there are a bunch of different. As far modes. as I can tell, there was actually quite a lot of different PvP modes, also the arena modes and battle royale modes and stuff. It sounded kind of interesting. How what happens if you go in there? Oh, I get you cannot enter. I don't know. Cannot enter. Don't tell me you have to pay for this as well. Enter. No, yeah, I don't think this is even. This okay, so yeah, like uh, last time we played it, we were like, um, we they have a special thing in City of Heroes, which is a very special thing in City of Heroes. They have uh, the mission architect uh, mode feature. And that lets you, as just a normal guy, go in and create your own missions that other people can then play through. Which is insanely awesome! I mean, it's I love the idea that you can like create content for other players and they can go through it and they can rate it and all that, so... It sounded it sounded very cool. Uh, and, and you have, like, when you when you level, you unlock the number of, of architected missions you can, you can create and have available for people. It sounded so cool. So we were like, let's go, let's go do it. Um, we, we wanted to try something out that other players had, had made. So we went over to the architect building and we got through this whole question that showed us around the building. That was all well and good. But when, when it came to actually signing up for an architect mission, you had to buy tickets. And tickets is, of course, something you buy in the shop with the points that you buy for money. So yeah, we can't show you any of those either, sadly. Because that, that's one of the, the thing that this game is very known for. That's the architect uh, feature. And we can't show you. And I'm very sorry about that. So... There's different sides here. We are now in the Emerald Quarter. We were just the Ruby Quarter. Yeah. And uh, I do believe, look here. It says Battle Terminal here. And then uh, you can see scheduled things. Solo, team, supergroup, tournaments. Hmm. Create event. Start time. 
Some what can you can you create your own event? Yeah. As soon as oh, you can create events based on what time you want to start and finish. Very interesting. Ah, supergroup tournaments. My arena so, rating. That's probably bad. Huh. I don't know if you've mentioned this, but the game is free to play. But um, there is a VIP thing where you can pay per month, and then everything is available to you. Uh, yeah. So they're doing kind of the same thing as I think it's EverQuest, right? That I kept the subscription available. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's that's fine for all I care. It's I mean I think it's cool that you can like pay for something and then you can pay for every month to get it for free. That's fine. But to be honest, this game is too restrictive. Um, yeah, they're basically saying you can play the game, but you can't do fifty at least fifty percent of our stuff. And if you want to do it, you can either pay for it loosely or you can just go back to our subscription, which What's the whole point of going for your play then? I don't know. Yeah. Just to, drag, I, just to drag people in, but I guess... I don't know. It just seems like a bad design to miss, but. I'll just try try to show the shop here, because it's there's just so many things you can you can buy. Um, so I have this Paragon Picks, which is supposed to just like the most popular features or whatever. Uh, feature things. Super Pack, Heroes and Villains. Fine. Okay, let's try and click in and see what this is. Each pack contains five random rewards ranging from archetype, enchantment, costume parts, customizable items, and more. Okay. So I can buy this thing for fourteen hundred and forty po uh, points, and I'll be able to get some random stuff. Uh, let's see. How do I get back here? Actually, probably there. I can buy some account services, which is like. Uh, an auction house license, an invention license, and as a, I mean, there is an auction house in this game where you can trade stuff. Uh, but yeah, apparently you have to like have a license for that. And there's also the whole crafting system, which I'll still get back to in a second. That you also have to buy a license for. You can buy more character slots, you can buy character rename tokens, respec tokens, server transfer, and all this. And it all costs points, and... Okay, there should probably be a way to... Add, there, add points. I'll just see how, what the points is. What the point costs. Um, yeah, 400 points costs $5. And then we're just giving up from there, wow. and you get some bonus points for it. But yeah! Exactly, so it can easily get very expensive very fast. Yeah, indeed. indeed. Uh, and, and there's just there's just too m many things you can you can buy. To be honest, there's a lot of crafting and gear, and then you can say max level fifty, which incidentally is the the level cap in this game. And I can like buy a healing set and go all this way, and then I can then I can actually buy gear and ah, I just don't like this at all. Osi, what are you doing? We are now going to PvP. Oh dear god. Well, I guess Get that kind of ended the my introduction to the shop. Uh, I think... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I do apologize. Yeah, well, it's cool. There wasn't that much left to show, actually. Waiting for players, okay. Don't tell me we have to like hang around in here and wait for other players. Oh, see, is this like f uh, FFA, free fall? Yeah, it should be. Uh, okay, interesting. Of players. Oh, 20. Seconds or? Minutes? No, seconds, I reckon. Tens? Oh, yeah, okay, that's fine. Right okay, there's only the two of us in here yet. Ah oh, man, we should totally yeah, have. It's, it's, I, 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 no, 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 no! I one Stupid one. me! I exited. Oh god, I pressed exit. Sorry, Ozzy. Oh my god. 
I was I, I just got the score screen up. You have like the button in the, in the top left window. I pressed the score screen up, and then it was an exit map, and I didn't thought about it. I was just like, well, that's probably just to get the damn score screen away because their exit button, as you can see right now, if you can't see it in the video, you can see where my cursor is. That is the exit button. It is literally impossible to see, and I keep missing it. To join a team. Oh, see, am, am I getting ported into a game again, or? Yeah, we're gonna do this. Uh, I want to do this one on one. Okay, I was just thinking that maybe we could just postpone it a bit. But no, wait. Yeah, okay, like, there actually, there actually isn't a lot. Is there a lot left that we need to show off? I don't think there is. No, we should. We should uh, I mean, the, the thing is. Yeah, the thing is again that that. What can I show off? The crafting system is not even available for me. If it was, this is like how it how it looks. Um, so I have I have items that I have salvaged, which is something you should be getting from killing uh, enemies. I haven't received anything yet, and I don't know if it's if it's because I don't have the license for it, or if I've just been unlucky or it's too low level. But you, you'll get like a different kind of items that you salvage while killing stuff, and then you can use them uh, to craft items like. At least you can craft new armor, maybe also some abilities and stuff. Um, and and yeah, I don't even. So you can you can at least craft things through uh, recipes. And we found we were at the the university, which is a place where you can learn your recipes and stuff, and you can buy those for some in-game points that you earn by doing missions. It's like like their credit, but they're called villain point or something. Uh, yeah. So the thing is that you'll of course be able to buy these recipes, and then you can learn the the thing uh, to craft, and then you'll be able to craft it through these salvaged items. But yeah, sadly not able to show you either. And besides from that, I don't know. Uh, okay, let's just go in there. I think we have shown up what we need to show up. I mean, this game is obviously rather different from anything previously, and I think it did a really good job on trying to minimize the UI and making it a bit more simple and more streamlined. But um, it kind of... I don't know. I guess when it was pay-to-play, it was a lot easier... Um, to do things so, because now it's like free to play and the problem with free to play models like this is that everything is you know you need to buy certain things to do certain stuff and, and it's just kind of counter counterintuitive if you ask me i'm not a big fan of the, these kind of models but but it does a whole lot of things right and i think there are also superpowers that we haven't even seen yet like i don't know if you can fly in this game but uh, that that Oh, you you can fly. You can run very fast. You can jump very high. There's these kind of different methods of of teleportation uh, or teleportation transportation, of course. And yeah, you can have yeah. more superpowers, and you can have these enchantments to uh, change the superpowers. And there's there's a ton of different archetypes of of heroes that you can play that has like tanks and ranged and melee and healers and all this. Uh, so but the the customization in this game is crazy. I'll give them that, and also just the way that you can make armor for a character, or make the f the body look different, of and all that. It's it's actually pretty cool. Yeah, it is. And it's just, um, I I think this is just for a very specific audience because I mean you need to like comic books in order to enjoy this, but it's not just like it's, this is a better. M you can't say that this is a better MMO RPG than. Let's say uh, Dark Age of Camelot. It's just a different genre, but uh, because a lot of people will be put off that you don't have loot, for example, and and stats and that kind of stuff. It's pure ability based and kind of skill based, I guess. I yeah, I guess it is. Uh, well, now we haven't actually been out fighting other people, and we have hardly met other people at all in the game, so. I'm having kind of a hard time actually saying if, if that is the case. But... I mean, well, as far as I can tell at least, there is a lot more to do while leveling in this game. We have we can be able to do PvP just now. There's all these story arcs that are spread out over 
the course of your your leveling um, time and oh god huh and we have uh, the architect missions which should actually more or less be an endless amount of, of, of content for you right there oh oh see are you dying are you dying yes haha <laughs> beaten I don't Wait, know what? Else. How did you even... Oh, is... Oh, I see. So we just have to keep on fighting score, until... It's time-based. Yeah, okay. Oh, God. That's not good. Um, Now I actually wish that I have bought my, uh, my single target heal. Yeah, your class is a lot better shallow than I am, I think. I, I am a da I am a, a caster damage guy focused on doing well damage mostly so not not a huge surprise uh oh not good oh my god you killed me again <laughs> uh why don't I heal there we go Also, my new. Oh, you didn't. Why didn't you take any damage? Not Probably good. Some kind of buff. Did I? Yeah, that I. Okay. Okay, we can. I can. We can edge it. He won. <laughs> we can say that. That's was so not very two to one for me. me. Excellent. Yay. So that was my revenge for not being able to fight you last week. Yeah. Which, for anybody who saw that video, uh, the problem was apparently that we were in a group, and as when you're in a group, you're not allowed to duel. Interesting oh. fact for those playing Dark Age of Camelot. Right. Yeah, exactly. Because I should have actually tried that, but yeah. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't say that's oh, intuitive, well. so. Um, no. But Can yeah, you actually I, duel in this game besides. Just that that guy talked about duels, no, but that like might it. just have been like, uh, like nah, instance it duels. Look like it. Nah. Well, they have the insta they have that battleground arena thing. That that should be good enough. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say this this game is. I'm just moving up by the way. I wouldn't say this game is is bad. Actually, I've kind of enjoyed it, and it's. It seems like there's so much content that I have yet to see. What just bothers me is this constant feeling that to be able to see the good content, I'd have to actually pay for it. And then hopefully yeah. it will actually be good. But I don't know. Uh, and that that just annoys me, really. I, I'd hope that we'll be able to see some of the cool stuff, especially the architect mode, which I still think is, is the most cool, uh, the coolest sounding feature in this game. But we are we aren't. Sadly, so. No. But I, I think you get a general idea of what this game is and represents. If, you, if you're a comic book fan, then I, I'm not, you, you should definitely try this out. Uh, and if you're a fan of, you know, not so much his stats, but more like powers and abilities, then you should definitely give this a try. But uh, there are alternative uh, games out as well, like uh, Champions Online, which is also free to play um, and uh, DC Universe Online also went free to play not that long ago so uh, yeah there are several options but this is definitely as far as I can tell a pretty solid game so it, uh, it feels better than the other game. games we've been playing and there is a ton of features in it so it's it's well worth your time yeah. to to give it a try at least yes indeed so with those words, I think we'll say thank you very much for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, our next game will be World of Warcraft, I think. Yes, it will. And hopefully we will get that out on Wednesday, as was the plan with, with this video as well. Uh, shouldn't be too hard, as we've yeah. both been playing World of Warcraft, so getting into the whole feature thing of the, of the game will take us about five minutes, tops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we can pretty much just jump into the game and uh, talk about it. It's really not a big deal. Yes, exactly. 
So yes, thank you for watching, and if you like it, please give it a thumb up. If you've been playing City of Heroes and want to comment on this video or add anything or tell your stories, please do it in the comment section. We'll be sure to read and reply if, if suitable. And otherwise, we will see you next time. Yeah, see you next time, people.